There we go. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to another edition of Pops and Shots. <laughs> so I have already got rules. So that's that's a plus. Makes it um, easier when you start out with the rules coming in. Yes, it is. Um, and it's a yeah, they're pop couple Sean and Matthew. Those are like the usual people with rules. So, um, yeah. What just happened to your stream? You had like thirty some, and it dropped to twenty. No idea. Huh, weird. Hello, just a brat. Because it says thirty four on YouTube. Yeah, it's, well, it says thirty eight now. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's weird. It's yeah, whatever. Wait, um. So Julie, what? did you change your name to Jay Ricci instead of uh, Labjar? That's easy enough for me to know who it is. Yes. Hello, Devin. What's up, Devin? Right, so let me go up top, say hello to start saying hello to everybody. Hello, uh, Funko Pop Box Production. Hello, Andrew Weeble. Hello, Nightshade. Hi, Justa. Uh, hello, Tasha. Disney lover. Hello. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Brian Henry. What's up, Larry's batshit crazy uncle? Uh, crazy Pop Dad. Hello. Ivy Pop. Hello. I got a Jeep of Pop sticker today. Yeah. So I got mine the other day. We did a video. Yeah. It's got like a purple <laughs> haze type background. Yeah. Hello, Thomas. I do not exist. Hello. <clears throat> Let's see. JJ, what's up? Tech Isles! Hey, Divine. Just trying to run down the list, guys. There goes the Mega Baller box from Curtis. Oh, yeah. Are you getting one? Uh, I don't think so, just because the ones I would want the most would be the Martians. I already have them. Yeah. Hey, Justin. Uh, Julie, hello. Tats, how's it going, buddy? Uh, and my chat just freaking jumped. What's up, JC? Uh, Verdugo Pop, hello. LBD Prophecy, hello. Popwiser, good evening. What's up, McWig Splitter? Just call me D. What's up, Dustin? Um, hey, Kiwi Couple. Resident Obi-Wan, hello. Matthew, hello. Nova Scotia Pop Hunters, hello. Hello. Hey, Ness. Hey, Steven. What's up, Dustin? Mitch, hello. And I think that's everybody so far. So we did fill the raffle spots, so we will be pulling for that. We're going to do that relatively early in, the, in this. Um, that way, those of you who just want to find that out and jump, that's fine. Doesn't bother us. We just will sit on here for an hour or so probably or so and uh act like idiots so uh, man three of the curtis's boxes are already gone damn yeah nice people are it's, not playing around no I, I i don't blame him oh okay lab jar said i'm still julie jay ricci is my husband i saw that comment but you're saying hi to everybody and gotcha I didn't want to interrupt yeah the blue suit mr incredible is pretty cool i just uh, man, that's a lot of money. Hello, Ozzy Nate. We're talking about a thirteen hundred dollar mystery box that just dropped for you guys who are not in the uh, not in the know. And yeah, there you go. Which, of course, you know, cheap and nerdy. That's way too expensive for our blood, so it wasn't even a uh, option. <laughs> yeah, the the big boy is twenty two hundred dollars. The blue. Uh, I would kill to have that big boy, man. The Power Rangers also a twenty four piece, but I, I even when I was younger, I didn't like Power Rangers. Yeah, it's not for me. It, now, it, I the, out of all the Freddies, the one I the ones I really want are the Ghostbuster Freddies. Oh, we're going over to the Pop King Paul thing, or are you just talking in general? I'm just saying in general. What's up, Dan? Uh, and Toy Ninja, hello. I saw you, Larry. You're late. Uh, there's a few in Pop King Paul's I would like. I want to see yeah. what else he's going to do, how many boxes it's going to be. Because not all those are like $1,000 pops. Yeah, yeah, we know. 
just came in today. I'm very happy. Did you buy the Pop King Paul Chiefs win, Chiefs win, $100 guaranteed value mystery box? No. I'm not allowed to buy $100 mystery boxes. <laughs> Trust me. I wanted to. What's up, Johnny? Thank you, sir. <laughs> is that a what is that supposed to be? A eggplant? A, a pear, I think. It's like Brittany a- said, Brian, you drinking and taking shots? I will get a hotel for the night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> it's one truly. That's it. And this is only a four pop box. So calm your tits, woman. <laughs> oh, Mitch, yes, you can. I think it'll be better if you don't read off the rules first and kind of surprise chat with the stupid crap you have to do. Yeah. Definitely will uh definitely will definitely will do that. Ask for forgiveness later, Brian. That's not how that works. Um I guess Brittany's modding from that side. So uh okay, so I got a question from Matthew Curry. He said, Hey Brian, what what pop from ECCC? do you want the most? <sighs> That's a rough question. Cause there's quite a few that I like. Um, my current, my current one that I would want the most would probably be the uh, game of Thrones, baby dragons. You know, for me, it's Loch Ness probably. Um, just because I am big into the Funko myths. I love those pops. I've bought every one that they've dropped so far. Mm-hmm. Um, and to have a glow in the dark Loch Ness would be awesome. Um, and then just like Brittany just said, the Great Gazoo is the other one. Um, I got something with weird green aliens that I like. So, yeah, don't get me wrong; those are cool. Uh, because uh, Gazoo is shared with Funko Shop. The yeah. Glow Loch Ness is going to be H two only. No, it's it well, it's at the Reed Pop booth at uh, ECCC. Yeah. Slime T Man. Yeah. Slime. The, I like a lot of what they dropped this year, and I like the fact that they dropped a lot less than they have before. Oh, I think they're starting to get the idea too, because we've seen a lot more limited pieces revealed yeah. already, and I feel like there's probably more coming. Maybe. I I don't I mean I'm I'm sure there may be. I've also really liked all the fig pin drops that are gonna be exclusive there too. Yes. Brittany, yes. I want two, but if I got two, I'm flipping the second. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ness. Uh Brittany, you should readjust that statement to say you're flipping it if you're not gonna get it to one of your friends who's there also. That's a given. But yeah, Mitch said it as soon as I was talking about the fig pins. Yeah, and Principal Nezu dropped today. Yeah. The, the spoiler or whatever dropped today. Yeah. Yep, Larry wants it too. I don't know how hard those are going to be to get. I don't know what there's going to be at the party. We're still yeah. trying to convince Brian to go to the party with us. Well, we're still waiting to know if Brian has a ticket available to him. Daniel, I don't want to think about how much I'm going to spend on ECCC weekend. (laughs) My plan is to be in the middle of a balance transfer where I have like way too much cash. (laughs) If there is something insane that I want to get, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I want to see the Starship Trooper bug before I get it. Like I've seen it online. I don't care. I have Johnny Rico con stickered. I have to have the friggin' bug con stickered too. No, I need to. I paid forty bucks for it. <laughs> About I'm, weird, I'm weird like that. If you guys really want con stickered stuff, hang out on Gemini, like the day the stuff dro- or the whole weekend the stuff drops, and they'll release it on there. Yes, they will. Unless it's one of the super duper limited pieces. You'll be able to get it for like 25, 35, 40 bucks. Uh, Popweiser, our box has not made it here yet. Um, I know he said he was doing the shipping earlier this week. So um, it 
it should have gone out, I want to say, Tuesday at the latest. So just waiting waiting for that to get here. It may be here tomorrow for all I know. Sean got that Cletus Funko finances. I don't know about that. <laughs> Credit card debt weekend. Yeah, it's basically. Uh, yeah, Lady Enigma. That one's 1500 piece limited, too. Yep. Let me see. Uh, I saw something else. We're also going to be trying to get the Dragon Ball stuff, too. And have they even released any My Hero Pops for this con? Nope. I wonder if those are coming. I don't know. Maybe they... I, I know there's My Hero Fig Pins, but that's the only thing I've seen. Hello, Ice Funko. Hello, Gene R. Second Chance Pop Collector. Hey, Gene. Hey, hey man. F. PBP. <laughs> I haven't had any bad shipping experiences from Gemini. Uh, a lot of people complain about their shipping being expensive, but they actually are pretty reasonable, in my opinion. Yeah. They just once you cross into the, the box that's bigger than twelve by twelve by twelve, it goes up to about twenty bucks. Hey, geeky mama bear. Uh, I didn't think they were done, Lady Enigma. Are they? Do you know if they're done announcing stuff? Uh, I believe they are. They've already uh, Funko has actually already dropped the uh, the list of shared. So I'm pretty sure that's the. Uh, oh, that's well, maybe the they are. I don't know. I don't pay attention that close. I just wait until stuff's getting ready to come out and then try to get it. Yeah. So there's going to be, we're going to do this here in just a minute. And then we're also going to do two just regular giveaways on a comment picker. And it's funny that Geeky, Mo Geeky Mama Bear showed up because that's who we're going to do it on is on one of her videos. Oh, yeah, she's cool. So <clears throat> if you go to Fan Expo, we're going to hit you up just like you guys are trying to hit us up. Right. <laughs> Can you all help me with DBZ? <laughs> exactly. That's, that's, uh, wait, Toy Ninja, you can get in the, the line with the 80, was that nine other people? <laughs> 88 other people? Guys, we would love to go and get stuff and be able to send it to everybody. But think it's about logistically, we're flying out there, so we can't fly back with it. Yep which means we would have to ship it to you from there. We've got to carry it around the whole day at the con while we're there. We've got to carry our own stuff. We have to front the money for you. And uh, honestly, I, I won't speak for anybody else who's going, but if I get anything that these guys that are going with me don't want, I'm going to try and flip it and make some of my uh, cost back. Yeah, it's it's just uh, the cost of going is you got to try to recoup some of that as best you can. I know James talked about that at one point. Sean and I have talked about it a, a week ago or two. So it's just one of those things where we would love to try to do stuff for everybody, but the only fair way to do it would be to put it up put it up for sale, honestly. The the other thing is we there's six of us going together. Yeah. So it's it's going to be Probably the others who aren't able to get it, we're going to be getting it for them. Yeah. So that's that's the tough part. We have to spend at least one day, at least one, maybe two, um, in line for Funko. I mean, that's two wasted whole days just waiting for the Funko drops. Yeah, my, my plan, if assuming none of us get lottery, uh, my plan would be to go, like Lisa said, probably on Thursday. Yeah, just straight up like Thursday, be there as early as we can be there Thursday, run in the door, get into the Funko general line as quickly as we can. So I forgot my vape. I gotta go grab it. I'll be right back. I know you I know you will, Toy Ninja, but I also know that the stuff you're gonna want is gonna be Dragon Ball and my hero. So Brian and I both want the Dragon Ball stuff. And then James and Brian and I all want the My Hero stuff. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. If there's a specific pop you're looking for that's going to be 
you know, maybe for sale at like Fugitive or Toy Tokyo or something, hit me up and I'll see if I can find it. I don't have a problem doing that. But as far as the con pops go, that's that's going to be rough because there's two or three of us going. Yeah. I don't give a shit about rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, honestly, the only things that I'm really going to be looking for are going to be the pops and the, the fig pin stuff. Yeah. Well, you're late to the party on that one, Mr. I'd be popping. Um, I do not know LBD prophecy. <laughs> I'm not getting any dwarves. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate Dorbs, don't get me wrong, but I'm definitely not seeking them out. Yeah. Grab you a, a, a kazoo? You mean the Great Gazoo? Isn't it? With a G? Yeah, it's Great Gazoo. It's probably autocorrect or something. So I just posted the uh, the link up there for uh, Geeky Mama Bear's video that we're going to use, and we're just going to do a hashtag from hashtag hi from Cheap and Nerdy. I'm entering. So, I'm entering all these sweet giveaways. Yeah, there's going to be two giveaways, like I said. Um, one is going to be a t shirt pack from, or it's a t shirt from the Big Bang Theory DC, what is it, San Diego Comic Con. So, it's a medium. And then the other one, I'll figure out. No, I didn't. I went and got my vape, Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, are you going to have trouble? But anyways. All right. So real quick, what I've done is I have taken all of the names for those that are in the raffle. That's what I was working on. Shut up, woman. <laughs> um, I have placed them in a name picker. I have also then placed numbers one, two, three, four, and five in a random picker as well. And what we'll do is, is as I pull names for the five, I'll write those names down. And then when we go over to the other wheel that has the five numbers on it, I will then, the first person that got picked will get spun. Whatever number they lay on, land on, that's their prize. And we'll go down through the five winners. So just trying to do it basically as fair as I can be. Um, and especially you'll, remove, with, you'll remove the name and the number from each wheel as you go, right? Yes. Okay. So what, what I'll do, I'll pick all five names first, and then we'll go over to the other wheel and do based on oh, okay. who, who got right. pulled. You know what I mean? Okay. I thought you were going to go back and forth. I got That you. way we're not going back and forth because back and forth is just a pain in the butt. Yep, yep, yep. Gotcha. But this gotcha. is the fairest way I could do it because I did get messages from a couple of people saying that they couldn't be here uh, for whatever reason. So this is just the easiest way and the fairest way I could think of. That makes sense. So hey, let James, me do a thank you, sir. Share screen. On, this hair here is looking like I'm like shaved this part of my hair off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to run down the list. There will be thirty. We've got Sean, Dustin, Justin, Matthew, Disney Lover, JJ, Denozo, Globe Poppin, YoJ, Hashtag Larry, Just Call Me D, Dan Ortiz, Stop Pop and Roll, Julie, Popweiser, Roadhouse, and The Luau. Then we go right back to it. We got Sean, Dustin, Justin, Matthew, Disney Lover, JJ Denozo, Stop Pop and Roll, Julie and Pop Weiser, and the Luau. And then the only two people that got three were Denozo and the Luau. Oh, no, uh, no three for Dustin? No, Dustin got two. So, oh, Dustin, you weak bitch. So, as you guys can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Cool. There's the, there's the names. We're gonna get started. There's no no practice spins. 
We're just going to go. Let's do it. Good luck, everybody who decided to participate. Looks like we're going to hit Julie. Julie. Man. Winner number one. Julie on fire last couple weeks. Right? So we'll remove Julie. Next person. Oh, no way. Is it going to be her again? Oh, oh Popweiser. Popweiser. Congrats, Popweiser. Name of number three. Number three. Luau. Nope. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's going to be Andrew, the oh, Luau. I want to be on the second wheel. <laughs> go, go, go faster. <laughs> ah, Dustin. All right, last winner coming up. So that is Dustin Grossman, because I got Dustin as in just call me D as just call me D. Correct. Last winner. Last winner. JJ. JJ. Congrats, all five of you. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that one's done. Hey, quick draw. In good shape, I hope. Lab jar. Julie. J3 mom. <laughs> <laughs> Remembering all the names. Good thing is, is these names I've got down. I'm good. So, all right. So now we're going to go over to the numbers. You guys can see them. One through five. Do you know which one's which just off the top of your head? No. Okay. I, I just I wrote down numbers and started slapping them on the back of, of, of the of the prizes. So we'll find I, out. I don't, Dustin. What? He said we give him shit when he buys more. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Julie, you're How getting you number. Five. I'll remind you about your box, Gene. So Julie gets number five. All right. Pop Wiser. Pop Wiser. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're going to get number three. Yeah, why haven't they made those frogs? I would totally buy a three pack of those frogs. Because they're alcohol related. So? <laughs> it should come with a case of Bud Light. <laughs> right. They're trying to sell us Diet Dr. Pepper. That's what works for you. The Luau will get numero uno. Number one. Who's going to get sunny is what we all want to know. Right? So between Dustin and JJ, one will get the next number. Dustin will get the next number picked, and JJ will get the last number. Oh, I've seen that, Gene. Those are really cool. Okay. So Dustin's going to get number two, which means JJ gets number four. The Metallic Bud Knight. That would be pretty sweet. So, all right. I would like a pop ride of the Coors Bullet, the bullet train. <laughs> all right. So let's find out what's what. So, so number five is Julie. What's number five? Number five is... Or do you want to do it the other way and just pick from the bottom and go up? Number five is the 2020 Asian Mickey Mouse. You're the rat. Congrats, Julie. So then next we have Popweiser. Not sunny. Bonnie the Bonnie Chase. That one's cool. Next, we have the Luau with a numero uno. Oh, no sunny for you, Luau. It's down to JJ. And who was the other one? JJ and Dustin. Ooh, Dustin's going to lose his mind. If he wouldn't that sunny. So 
Number two, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Who had number two? Dustin. Still an ad icon, Dustin, but it's not sunny. <laughs> so there you go, JJ. You had just said on the com when he when we put the picture up, he was like, "Oh, you should have told me. I would have traded or bought it." Yeah, you, you got, got it a lot cheaper now. <laughs> so JJ, we'll have to. You'll have to let me know if you want to pick it up coming through town, or if you want me to ship it to you, or what. Just uh, just let me know. But JJ, you are the top winner tonight. Hey, pop couple. JJ won the uh, the Sunny the Cuckoo. Yes, he did. That's awesome. So if we have shipped to you guys before, we should have your address. If we do, if we don't, um, just shoot us an Instagram message with your address, um, and we'll. Uh, don't. Yeah, I was about to say, don't say that. Divine pops, Brittany Wait. will lose her freaking mind. I have creature Kirk Hammett for trade. Oh my god. Well, Brittany would lose it. Um. Yeah, JJ, we don't mind shipping it to you. It's just up to you, really. I mean, if you're going to come through town and want to pick it up, that's obviously, I mean, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, congratulations to the winners. We're going to let the uh, comment picker go for a little bit. We'll wait until later in the evening for that one. Um, but congratulations, guys. Uh, Bernie modding it up from her phone. Yeah. We did factor in shipping with the raffle. Uh, that was... We made sure to do that, uh, as we said before. Also, uh, in the first post this evening, for the raffle was Canada shipping was fine. U.S. and Canada shipping was fine with us. So um, I'm not sure if all of you are in the U.S. or what. I know Dustin is. I know JJ, uh, Andrew. I'm assuming Popweiser and Julie are both in the U.S. So Julie is. I don't. I don't know if I have Popweiser's address. Retro. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's pretty sick. I was going to take it out of the box until I realized it had a window that opened up like that. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Now I can leave it in the box. So, all right. <sighs> Should I open Tickle's box first? Yes. Is you Tickle's can even here? Uh, Tickle's is here, yeah. Tickle's. Should I open the box? Do you have that, Sean? Is that a Deku Android? No, it has a smash thing. <laughs> oh, and it's also got that little sticker right there. Uh, Funimation exclusive. Yeah. All right. I'm going to open the box. It's very light, so I don't think mine's an Android. Could be. I don't know. That's true, Devin. You haven't timed anybody out. I'm proud of you. Make a wish you gave us. We got another one. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about it, Brittany, but thank you for taking my feelings into consideration. I thought we told Sean we got that one from a mystery box. Mine is an Android, and it's big. <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a note too. Yep, Sean. Do you know why Luthi's clothes don't change because of anime logic? <laughs> and here's a small gift, Tickles. Thank you, Tickles. Um, yeah, Luffy shrinks and his clothes stay the same size. It makes no sense. <laughs> so I'm assuming you got a Luffy. Nope. No? Mine is also my hero. Did you get uh, Katsuki? I did. Nice. Carefully unwrapping it here so I can show it to you guys. He also has a boom. Nice. Divine Pops, we both understand. You'll be back in an hour. Got to listen to Larry's DMs. <laughs> <laughs> what does he call himself? A uh, murderer killer? Murder king? Lord, oh, yeah. Lord, Lord explosion, explosion murder. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Kotsky looks awesome. Thank you so much, Tickles. Hey, Zach. Hey, Funko Fried Pops. Pop, cap out. Papa Palpatine. Hello. Hello, Guinea Pig Lori. Hello, Campbell's Collecting. If you guys aren't familiar with Nendroids, uh, I, I I might take credit for turning this community onto them. I have a bunch of them up here. 
and I bought <laughs> I bought Lisa and Brittany some. I don't think I bought James and Brian any yet. No, but this right here. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess that it might be an Android. <laughs> it just might be. Uh I'm probably gonna take that out and play with it. I'm afraid it might be too awesome. It's yeah, pretty I, awesome. Like I, I don't want to take mine out of the box, but then again, I do. <laughs> That's the problem is they once they come out of the box, they're not going back in easy. I took Mega Man out and broke pieces of Mega Man and complained about it to to Shumi. Yeah. And he was like, I can't do anything about that. Hello, Linda. I do have one out of the box. I don't know how many people, a decent amount of people, I'm sure, have watched Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Or Roy Mustang. I've got, there you go. or Brittany's got her Harry out of box. She had to play with that thing, like, immediately. Yeah, he's even doing a little snap, guys. If you can see, he's got his, like, alchemy gloves on. It. Snaps. I love Nendroids. Right. Only problem with Nendroids is they're, like, five times as expensive as Pops, usually. Yeah. Yeah, they're like 60 bucks a piece. <laughs> Zach, that's one of the greatest things to uh, to say and then put a helicopter emoji. That was pretty funny. I'm just writing everything down on here. Most of them, yeah, Sarah, most of them are anywhere from like high 30s to mid 50s i paid almost a hundred for alphonse elric the the guy in the metal suit from full metal alchemist to i think his yeah his nendroid comes with all the kittens too tickles thank you for extra bubble wrap it got here in perfect condition and i will of course break down the bag before I throw them away. LJ, I'll go over it with you real quick. We've the winners were the big winner was JJ with Sunny. Julie won the Mickey Mouse. The Vanya Chase was for Popweiser. The Luau won the Make a Wish Freddy. And Dustin Grossman won the Snap Crackle and Pop. Yeah, they're more expensive when you buy them from uh, stores like GameStop and Hot Topic, Box Lunch kind of places. Target, they're not cheap either, though. Uh, someone was telling me they, they were clearance Nendroids for like 15 bucks at Target. I was like, I, I, I would have bought them all yeah. and I sold them on eBay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen any for that price. Neither have I, and I've been there several times. <laughs> yeah, so... I found 12 of the carbonized Mandalorians couldn't find any Nendroids. <laughs> yeah, Sean found plenty of those bad boys. He's like, he shows me the receipt and is like, I bought 12. I bought them all. I found six and I was like, all right, that's reasonable. Because I had one of those little hand carts or the little hand baskets. And uh, then I found six more in a different aisle and I was like, do I do it? <laughs> People are looking at me and I just put them all in there. I don't, I don't blame you. Oh, you've got Rimuru? I don't know what Rimuru is from. Uh, from uh, the time that I was reincarnated. Oh, as yeah, slime. Slime. yeah, I think Tickles has explained that to me before, and I just forgot. <laughs> yes. Um. All right. So here's how this game works that we're doing tonight. Tickles, I have Ice Kirby. <laughs> I'm just looking at the ones I have. Oh, Brian, I have two different versions of Saber. Oh, do you? Yeah, they're both prototype versions. There's two. Really? really? Yeah. I have Asuna and Kirito, Mega Man. Oh, Itachi's one of my favorites. Oh, I also have, uh, what's her name? Reen, Tosca. Oh. All right. <laughs> So I've got a four pop mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. It's a forty dollar box that got the corner smashed on it. 
Yeah, one of my boxes showed up with like literal like boot print on it. Yeah, not so. Like, who is stepping on boxes? So the way this works is once I get into the box, once it starts opening, any ten dollar super chat or PayPal, whichever you want to do, um, I will take a shot. For twenty dollars, you can make another rule. However, I already have one, two, three plus Sean's three rules, basically that he made. Well, hold on. <laughs> Brittany's always complaining, like well, people don't watch us. You have triple digit people in here, Brittany. Oh, I know. The, Brittany, chill out. Um, four <laughs> pops, yes, that is it. I don't have anything else to open right now, Matthew. Brittany and I don't do like Sean or Pop Couple. And hold on to all their boxes and then do like unboxings kind of like on a regular schedule. <laughs> we, we're we not the type of people to be able to hold on to something. We have to open it and know what it is. <laughs> so we, we can't just like be like Sean and lose a spastic mystery box in the corner underneath some other pops. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> It's got four other pops on top of it, but it's right here. Devin, why'd you time them out? Do not get drunk. <laughs> Devin, James Davidson, uh, Devin's a dick, so... The, yeah, the whole point is to get drunk. And if Devin times you out, doesn't that earn you a wrench? It does earn you a wrench. Yeah, I, was gonna, I don't know if that applies here or if it's only on booze and pops. Until you do something to dis-earn the wrench, so... But yeah, that's that's kind of the way we are. Um, is we don't hold on to stuff, so it's very rare that I have multiple boxes to open at the same time. Tickles. Unless they all come in at the same time. Does Frankie have a hair cannon? <laughs> hair cannon. <laughs> I'll need to. Uh, I'm assuming. I, I don't like to spoil it because you gotta watch like hundreds of episodes before you know who joins the straw hats. <laughs> McWig splitted that actually earned you a mod. <laughs> what did he say? As long as you don't spit in the house, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um so yeah, uh again, five dollars if you want to make me say something stupid. Uh, or do something stupid within reason. Uh, $10 to take a shot, $20 if you want to make a rule. But at this point, I think I've got enough rules. We won't worry about that one. It's just going to be the 10 bucks, take a shot. And yeah, I've got rules that will basically make me take a shot for all four of these pops plus an extra. So um, the first shot was quite inventive this evening or the first rule. Excuse that. Yeah. It's to do. I thought you weren't going to read them. Uh, am I not going to read them? I thought you were just going to surprise people by doing this stuff. All right. All right. All right. We'll do that. So I've got one from Matthew Callie. I've got one from Pop Couple. And I've got one, basically three rules from Sean all rolled into one. So. All right. Luffy doesn't stand up on his own, is the only problem. No, what? You know. The mystery mini um, Tony Tony Choppers, yeah, they don't stand up for n crap. We have picked up Tony Tony Chopper off the ground at least like ten times. I think my Tony stands. Luffy has to lean forward on something, but his feet don't touch the ground. I don't know why they designed it like that. As a matter of fact, uh, both Tonys are on the floor right now because they fell. <laughs> when will you get gifted a rule? When I'm short on rules, I got plenty of them right now. <laughs> Is that the camo? Hat? Uh, his hat's camo, yeah. Yeah, I just got that one. That one actually stands okay, but the minute I like even touch the table, it freaking falls over. I like but this one. Alexander, we let you make I tried to let you make a rule and you were just like catty about it. <laughs> And then you lost your wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like this Luffy better than fourth gear, but mainly because he stands up. <laughs> oh, God. 
I went ahead and poured a shot because I'm going to take one. Is it like beet red? No, it it's cloudy. You can't really see it. I feel like I didn't put enough in there. So I'll go ahead and give you guys a hint as to what I have to do with one of the uh, one of the rules. I'm going to play with mystery minis while Brian does this. Because I just have like boxes and boxes of mystery minis that I like to play with. So I have, um, oh, here, I didn't show you guys the bottle. New Amsterdam orange vodka. Yummy. Uh, and it's mixed with Frank's red hot hot sauce. Double yummy. Yeah, thanks, Matthew. Yeah, if you guys want to see any of the ones I'm screwing around with. Nastrovia. What's up? Oh, God, that's gross. Yeah, I told you it would be. Ugh. Because the hot sauce that I just put in there all went to the bottom. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Why vodka? Because I don't have really anything else. Brooke. Yeah. If I had regular vodka and not f flavored vodka right now, that would be, I think it would be better. It would almost be like, you know, like a uh, Bloody Mary shot. <laughs> James is back from being timed out and he's drunk. <laughs> that didn't take you long, James. <sighs> you got to send me something better. One of my favorites right here. Oh, Dan's got a set of the gold Hollywood exclusives. Damn. What are the gold Hollywood exclusives? I'm interested, but I'm I'm probably not interested in the price, Dan. <laughs> what are uh, the gold Hollywood exclusives? The the sleet slat sleet the the freaking yeah those guys the sleet stack and the um I can't remember the other one's name. Brittany saw them and liked them. Boom. Yeah, that was Zoro. That's Nami. Hey, Nami doesn't look right. Why? She's not stacked. <laughs> I mean, for a Funko thing, she is, but her head yeah. is giant. Puff and stuff and slee slack. There you go. Brittany saw those and liked them. I haven't even. I, actually, I saw this dude. I haven't seen Quarter Sone yet. Where's he at? There he is. I, that's a very true statement, Matthew. I have I have not even met this dude yet. He looks kind of cool. He looks like Sanji with like face paint on and a coat. This guy seems like he's gonna be a badass. I only got to see him for like one or two episodes. Don Quixote. Yes, Don Quixote do Flamingo. Um Matthew, I know you said that I if I have issues I can quit. I really I really don't have issues with spicy stuff. Um, do I have any juice I can put? Well, it's it is orange flavored, so I mean it's got some flavor to it. Hello, hey, coffee madness. One for Brittany right here. Oh yeah, she's got that one. She got the Elvira. Yeah, she's right up there. Tickle. Dude, this looks badass. Look at the friggin' pose on the back. Oh yeah. I need to get Deku and Kotsky so they can fight. Right? <laughs> oh, look at that one. He's doing the propel thing. Oh, they've got crying face Deku in here? Yeah, they all come with like three faces. <laughs> Did you see this thing when I posted it in uh, in chat earlier? Yeah. It's, I, wish, I wish that was in my box. I, I was pretty shocked because... I didn't expect to get like a two for with uh, Gran Torino, but it connects to the all for one up here. So you got to get the all for one craftable and it's like a full scene. Yeah. So the only spicy stuff like Brittany just said, I have issues with is the one chip and the gummy bear. Other than that, spicy stuff is fine for me. This is nothing. 
<laughs> this is delicious as far as the actual hot sauce. It's got more flavor to it. Yeah, Lori messaged me when I opened the I opened the bomb, the sauce from uh, Hot Ones. You know, the one that usually knocks everybody on their ass. Yeah, that's like three from the end. I was like, it's not even that hot. I just <laughs> wanted to try it because uh, Charlize Theron tasted it and called it a dick move. <laughs> it's like I gotta see what this stuff tastes like. I'm gonna go ahead and get another shot ready for uh, box opening. Can you hear what's going on in the other room? What is it? I, I left Broly, <laughs> Broly movie on. Oh, I turned off. Uh, they're about to start. They're getting their team together for the uh, tournament of power. Yeah, they're getting their team together for like 30 episodes. They well, they just did the um, the preliminary exhibition fight or whatever. Yeah do you do you know what episode you're on? No, no I, idea. What I got really upset at the whole process because the tournament of power doesn't start till almost episode 100. It's like way the f back there, and I think the the thing that you're on is like in the 40s. Oh God. Yeah, <laughs> they said the tournament starts in forty hours. Yeah, and each episode going forward is like twenty minutes. <laughs> They're like, "There's only seventeen hours and twenty-seven minutes till the tournament of power." <laughs> You're like, "What the fuck?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap! What, Alexandra? Did you say something? Sorry. Hello. Isn't crying face his natural face? Uh, yes, Deku likes to cry a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, Alexandra, didn't mean to uh, ignore you. Oh, uh, Matthew, I don't keep a lot of real spicy stuff in the house. Um, I usually go to restaurants that make make stuff way more spicy than I can get at home. I like that creamy ghost pepper sauce. I was eating that last night on almonds. It was really good. I saw that when you asked about spicy nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready to uh, start this box up? Yeah, I am. All right. Well, one more thank you out to Tickles. That was a really, really cool gift. Thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. All right. <laughs> Well, here we go, folks. This is one of those he builds you a mystery box, basically, for however much you spend. Um, He's, are you going to reveal what you guys spent? 40. Oh, you do the 40? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, like, you take a choice from the drop down or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I thought it was like a curated box. No. Well, I mean, he knows us, so it's a little different. He knows what we have in our collection and what we do. I thought it was four. Is it six? Well, now you're in trouble. I'm, I'm going to get rid of bubble wrap real quick and find out. There's one, two, three... the hell is that no it's four Brittany she says it's a box of six for 40 are you looking no oh no shit there are six in there they're separate the three each three is separately bubble wrapped is what it is okay <laughs> Devin says, how much does Shotgun a Truly and Brittany immediately goes $200? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can Shotgun a Truly. I mean, I'll try it. Justin says, drink up, biatch. I don't have to put friggin' hot sauce in this one, so. No, you don't. That is only Matthew's rule. Although there's some residual in there still. Yeah. Uh, I took Pop Drunk's rule and made a, ver a variation where Brian does something for each one of their rules. Yeah. All right. I'm not wasting any more friggin' time. 
get the friggin' receipt out of there. First pop. The Glow Chase Yzma. It's, Shit, a, it's, it's a cartoon. It is a cartoon. It's not um, anime. Is it a duplicate? It is not. Does it have damage? Uh, yes. All right, so you got to do the damage thing. So I've got to do Matthew and the damage thing. Yep. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, hold on. I got to do the pop couple thing, too. All right, so happy Valentine's Day, Yzma. I want you in me tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the damage thing. Fuck you, Yzma. Or no. Fuck you, Disney lover. Sorry, that's the way it's supposed to be. The first name that showed up in chat. The image one is you have to throw the pop. I just did. I threw it down there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Robert. I'd rather have Devin spit on me than keep this pop. Devin, I would have attempted to uh, shotgun a truly for fifty. I don't know that it's possible, but I would have tried. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'd imagine that as soon as you poke the hole in it, it would spray everywhere. Um, probably, and make a fucking mess everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I would have tried for fifty. The giant hat. This hat. The poo hat or the taco hat. All right, well, here's the friggin' hot sauce shot. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. I have a feeling I'm going to be screwed with, with friggin' cartoon pops. All right, next one. It is... Daryl Ward from Bright. The Another chip. face. So, it's not a duplicate. It's not an anime. Nope. It does not have any damage. I didn't even know so, he had a chase. Yeah, neither did I. Um, so, there's no shot taking with this one. However, I do have to say, Happy Valentine's Day, Daryl Ward. I want you in me tonight. What is triggering that? Pop couple. Any pop I freaking pull. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty fair. Uh, I, he looks like Will Smith. Well, he is Will Smith. Yeah. It, it, Bright is a Netflix original movie about magic. I watched it. It was all right. Do I have anything to puke in? No. Um, I won't be puking. Trust me. All right. I can hear Goku grunting. The, I will say it's better than jumping jacks or squats. All right. Pop number three. Yeah, Let's I think see. it would have been better as a show. I agree, McWig. There's another sticker. Jesus. These all have big stickers on them. There's two chases so far. All right. Let's find out what this one is. Oh! What's the third chase? Oh, is this the box where occasionally one of them is like all exclusives or chases? Uh, Hit that one of those. Yeah. So it's got no damage. Burton, he's pulled three chases. I think he might have one of the all exclusive boxes. It is not a duplicate because we do not have. No, but it's animation. You got to do Matthew's crap. Yeah. So. It is a cartoon, though. So, oh. Happy Valentine's Day, Jasmine. I want you inside me tonight. <laughs> Isn't that backwards? Something like that. Yeah, right? Larry just wow. said the box he's sending you was supposed to be for Christmas, so he's currently wrapping presents for you and Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Larry. Wait, what was Pop 2? You don't want to know, Brittany. 
That was pop two. Yeah, Chase Daryl Ward from Bright. So, but right. three chases so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, he, the he top in first. Oh, geez, yeah, that is that's messy. That, that way it m mixes up. Yeah. Yeah, boo, exactly, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he said you didn't want to see it. Yeah. Brady, did you see my Nendroid? I got a Katsuki. Or a Katsuki. <laughs> Katsuki. <laughs> it's Katsuki. What's a back uggo? Devin, for you, Nostrovia. <laughs> He's shooting orange vodka with Frank's red hot sauce. God. Lord Explosion Murder. He's on the floor. I feel like that's a very dangerous place for him to be. Well, especially with Cosmo. Cosmo's passed out. Ugh. Put him up here. <laughs> there is one pop and a protector in here, too, so... It gets better than all the chases. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. So what's... This feels like a potential... Uh, box lunch or hot topic sticker, maybe GameStop. Hot topic Harley Quinn. Hot topic Harley Quinn. Christmas Harley Quinn. So it's not a cartoon. Definitely not a duplicate because we don't collect uh, DC. Depends on which Harley Quinn it is. It's not a cartoon. Ew. Yep, he has. That's why I said he's got the all chase exclusive box. So, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Happy Valentine's Day, Harley Quinn. I want you inside, or does I want you in me tonight. That's what I was supposed to say. Does it have damage? No, it doesn't. You want to throw it anyway? No. Boo. Because there might be somebody in here that needs it. Boo. In case you guys don't have it. She looks like an effed up Cruella DeVille. I mean, she kind of does. I actually did not have to take a shot. What's up, Durpin? Umpty's guessing it's a J Balvin chase in the protector. I think they'd be pretty happy. Well, I mean, considering how much he's worth, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that would more than cover the box and shipping. All right, so... All right. I haven't had I haven't had to tell anybody in chat fuck you except for Disney lover which I'm sorry again that was the rule. <laughs> um, I'm not supposed to reveal that information. You're supposed to randomly yell at chat. <laughs> <laughs> this one does not have a sticker. Okay. What the hell is that? Peace of Mind Eddie from Iron Maiden. Maybe it's not all Chase and Exclusive. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day, Peace of Mind Eddie. I want you in me tonight. <laughs> and that's all I have to do with that one. And... Uh, I tried to like look him up on Funko app and every Freddy came up. Brittany said, okay, that is a common. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with this box. Yeah. So I I actually do have... Um, did we consider... No, never mind. Okay, I'm good. It, yes, I know it's a brand new pop. All right. So this is the last pop. <sighs> what? Looney Tunes Taz. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> Oh, 
we thought it was all chases exclusive because you got three chases and then an exclusive and <laughs> a common oh vaulted or exclusive or that's chases not, i don't think that's vaulted lj said taz is vaulted is he i don't know i, I don't have pop price guide up so i'm looking this box is from spastic that's the 312 number taz right Correct. He's from 2018. I mean, it, he's worth 23 bucks. It says 17 on the bottom. It just says release 2018, 23 bucks. Well, to be fair, it does say 1101 of 17. Yeah, that's, I mean, he could have been manufactured then released later. All right. So, what do I have to do for Taz? Um, he's happy got Valentine's Day, Taz. I want you in me tonight. <sighs> Shut up, Zoe. And he is a cartoon pop. Mm -hmm. So I do have to take another friggin' shot. Good thing I reloaded already. Is he a duplicate? No, I don't have him. Is he David? But, but I'm... Uh... Nope. Huh. Damn. My rule only hit like twice. They said Iron Maiden Eddie is $16. Cheers, motherfuckers. <laughs> that has to be disgusting. Oh, God. It's so gross. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm I'm bringing up Pop Price Guide real quick so we can look these up. They're telling um, us what they are. What's that? They're telling us what they are. I didn't even look. Oh, Taz is 23. Uh, Eddie was 16. Which other one you want me to go back in? Uh, Isma Chase is 19. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Jasmine Chase, I think, is like 12 or 11. Well, the Jasmine Chase is a freaking screw up, isn't it? Uh, I have no idea. Jasmine Chase is 10. And what is the dude from Bright's name? Uh, oh no, I see what it is. She's got an apple in her hand. That's the only difference. Yeah, uh, that's Daryl Ward, D A R Y L. Cosmo, stop ripping that pillow up. Uh, Daryl Ward Chase is 12. How is that the Chase? The regular one, he's holding a shotgun, and the Chase, he's holding a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, which one was 19? Yzma. Yzma, okay. And then, what's the number on Harley Quinn? Uh, 299. I want to, I always want to say Harlequin because of friggin' uh, Harley's fourteen. I mean, for a forty dollar box. I mean, six pops, regardless, you know. Yeah, you definitely get your value, but three chases is an exclusive, a vaulted. Ninety four dollars out of a forty dollar box. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, it's very similar to the Chrono uh, thirty dollars damage boxes. Yeah, um, but other than the fact that it's not all Funko <laughs> liquidation, we'll keep the Jasmine because we've got Aladdin, and it's one that we don't have. Um, Harley and Daryl will go away. Taz will stay. Iron Maiden's not going to stay. Isma may stay. We'll see. Um, Devin's rule. What was Devin's rule? Somebody just asked if you were doing Devin's rule. What is Devin's rule? I don't know. Devin, fifty bucks right now. I will shotgun a truly. I said, yeah, I said I would do it for fifty for sure. You're gonna have to be careful in that room, though. Oh, trust me, I got it covered.
Uh, Robert paid four ninety nine. Oh, did you ever say Robert's thing? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, Devin didn't do. Wait, never mind. Brittany, Isma is fine. She did not get any extra damage. She was damaged. She's fine. I like the llama guy. And also. Eddie is fine. No damage. It takes a lot to hurt Pops, guys. These boxes are way more resilient than you give them credit for. It's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this box, Brittany. So, let's see. All right, so, Brittany, you tell me, out of the box, which one are we going to do as part of the giveaway? Yes, Cusco. Llama Cusco. I have that one somewhere. I like that pop. You want to give away Yzma? All right. What? Come say hello. Doey. What? What do you want? What do you want? Mm, how much you gonna pay, quick draw? You want. For what? He wants an Emerald City Comic Con gambit. Go on, baby. Go get on go get on the bed. She's like, you ain't got to tell me twice. I'm gone. <laughs> yep, he's over there in the chair. The only time he gets up is to uh, rustle the pillow. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> I saw you say Yzma. Shut up. Yeah, she also said or Harley is what she's complaining about. Take a shot, I'll PayPal you. What do you want? Okay. <laughs> can, I, can I also be PayPal'd for shots? <laughs> do you want me to take another one of the friggin' hot sauce shots? Is that what you want? Yes, Robert. Absolutely. I'm I've been waiting my whole life to do that for you. Robert and Carolyn were an ordinary couple. So do Harley in the giveaway. Okay, I'll do Harley in the giveaway. Boo. Boo, Kiwi couple. <laughs> so Yzma is in the box. We got Harley. So we've got Harley and we've got the Big Bang Theory t-shirt in a size medium. Medium. So I'm going to stick these somewhere where I can write down who won them. Dave, you're late. A little <laughs> bit. This is a little bit. Actually, that's the second time you said hello. Hello, Dave. All right. Screw it. Devin didn't say what he wants me to do, so I'm just going to do a hot sauce shot again just because. Cool. He woke up. Yeah. Well, good morning, Dave. Yeah. Happy 9 p.m. Fell <laughs> asleep at your desk. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, you're not the only one. Nope. All right. I'm tuning down the bright lights. There we go. We're coming into uh, pictures of reality. Just do the hot sauce as a shot. No, thank you. Uh, I've got it poured, Brittany. So, I mean... He's been huffing mod po Mod Podge. <laughs> Brian. What? 
There's a child DeLorean pin. Oh, a what? It's the child DeLorean. Oh, shit. So there's my Jeep Pop Pop sticker. That's the same one I got, yeah. The child. So, as I said, Brittany, I have not taken the shot yet, so. God, just the thought of taking another one of these damn shots is like. I don't know what Mod Pog is. It's uh, Mod Podge. Ow. I also don't know what that is. It's crafter shit. Dave, go look at my most recent post. I made it for Larry. <laughs> and by I mean I made it for Larry, I stole it off TikTok and posted it and tagged Larry. <laughs> Mr. Beast is a dick. Who buys 100,000 roses? <laughs> That's just a waste of money. I mean, it kind of is. Bernie, no one likes a know-it-all. <laughs> what did she say? Mod Podge is a glue-like substance for decoupage. I mean, it's a true statement. All right. We draw on this? Yeah, in just a second. <sighs> Larry, go look at the hand fingers. Dave, Ash had... Oh, you were there. I was going to say she had your uh, clown Teddy Rick out, and she's like, can you do this, Sean? I'm like, fucking thing is creepy as hell. You're Mr. Know-It-All because you said the same stuff that Bernie said? I don't think that's how it works. All right, so we've got... Yes, I'd be popping. I claim it. We've got the other giveaways that we're going to do. Let's go to that. <laughs> you guys can see there's the link. Put a hashtag for filtering. I'll take off the duplicate comments just in case. It does make a difference, so... Hmm. Let's see. I mean, somebody commented. Well, somebody just commented twice with a hashtag both times. Yeah. So. So leave the filter on. Yep. Looks like we're gonna leave it on. Now yeah, we have fifty-one. Somebody else just hit it up, I guess. All right. So I gotta pick two winners. Whoop whoop. I call Deku. <laughs> Deku's not available. I call Deku. First winner will be Anita C. That sounds like it's going somewhere in the frame of a dirty joke and it just didn't make it. <laughs> Anita, if you would please comment here in the chat. Let us know. Okay, I'll do three. I'll give away the bright chase as well. Oh, yeah. I remember Amanda. Amanda. Nice. Well, Anita, you have your choice. You have the, the bright chase, the Harley Quinn, or the T-shirt from Big Bang Theory. Yeah, Big Bang was a Halloween t-shirt in size medium. Yes. So if you can please just put in chat which one you would like, and then hopefully you follow us on Instagram so that you can send us a message and let us know uh, what your address is so we can get it shipped out to you. She wants Harley Quinn. All right. So Anita wants Harley. And anyone who can find my house can have Ed. 
If you find out where I live, Ed is free. I know exactly where Sean lives. You do, I, do I already have that, Ed? <laughs> you win. It was in the Hot Topic box. Oh, the uh, the Scar box? Uh, yes, with Zazu and the Bones. and uh, little I've got it then. Never mind. I can pop Ed. <laughs> All right, so next winner will be <laughs> everybody's saying they have my address. <laughs> Come pick it up. It's right here. Tasha. Congratulations, Tasha. 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 If you can let me know either the Daryl or the T-shirt. Neural. Tasha, you want the Schmedium? <laughs> she wants Daryl. All right. This whole movie, if you're not watching it, is just grunting and screaming. <laughs> Broly? Yes. Why is that not surprising? All they're doing is screaming. <laughs> All righty. Larry, don't be getting out my address. Brian, congratulations. You're getting the Schmedium. Schmedium. T shirt. Congrats, Jeep Pop. Right? Has he ever corrected us on how to say that or what? No. Is it is it G Pop? <laughs> it's I mean it says G Pop Pop. It says G fourteen. G -A -Pop. I mean it's G Pa, like grandpa. No one says G Pa. That's not a thing. Don't be a dick. You're a dick. <laughs> You're trying to correct me. <laughs> Devin, I never saw the, the PayPal, so I'm not taking this other shot. I'm gonna go pour the bitch down the drain because it's disgusting. Devin fell asleep. <laughs> Devin was just trying to get me to take another shot. Um, yeah. We figured it was short for Grandpa. We're just arguing about how to pronounce it. <laughs> Once you have the sticker, you know that it is definitely short for Grandpa. Right. Because you've got the dude that says, damn kids, get off my lawn. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Brian is also part of the Funko Collector Society with us, so the Funko Cult Society. <laughs> the shirt will look great on my pit bull. There you go. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm gonna have to see pictures of that. Chap, what chap? Did you literally just get here? Good work, chap. We're ending the stream. <laughs> Jesus. I love you, chap. You're an idiot. But you do have a toxic Rick at, uh, Freddy Funko on the way to you. Noise. Oh, did you take that shot anyway? Mm hmm. I knew you wouldn't let it go to waste. It's fucking alcohol abuse if I don't. <laughs> it's alcohol abuse if you do. <laughs> God, that's so fucking gross. Uh, law, law firm running late tonight, chap. Start my own cult. I don't need a cult. No, I didn't let it go to waste, even though I was waiting for your PayPal there, Devin. <laughs> Chap is a bit late to the party. I don't need a cult. I, I went over this with Ed. Like, I, I, I'm not disliking anybody who's uh, in the FCS. I just don't understand the purpose of it. I think it's silly. Ooh, this one is feeling weird all the way down to my stomach. I think I put too much hot sauce in it. Well, that's going to be a quick poop. <laughs> that one's weird. Like, I didn't feel the rest of them all the way down into my stomach. Ugh. You too, Disney lover. Blah, blah, blah. You have a great night as well. <laughs> uh, so... No, Ness. 
Yeah, congratulations to everybody who won tonight. Yeah, especially JJ. If something unfortunate happens to JJ, I get sunny, right? No, it, it'll just come back here. Right, right. <laughs> So, yeah, um, tomorrow night, booze and pops as usual. Baby Yoda's. This, uh, yeah, booze and pops. The child. This may actually be. No, I'll probably get one more pops and shots in me before we go to uh, Seattle. Uh, yes, I do have a sunny, but that would have been raffle bait. Plus, I figure at this point we're just kind of throwing twenty dollars back and forth <laughs> until one of us actually wins. I, that's not true. I did win the Jolly Bee. Yeah. So next week will be Sean, and then the week after that will be me, and then the week after that should be Sean again on the sixth. So, so I've got two more chances to do raffles to get some kind of money. To be stupid with in Seattle. Pretty much. Did we make a decision on the Bim Toy Party whether or not we were going to go or just like go out and do something? Pop Couple, as far as I know, hasn't said anything back to us about that yet, what their thoughts are. So, well, they, they should be out of work now. They'll probably talk to us. Uh, yeah. Us East Coasters. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just cleaning out the uh, the shot glass. Yeah, we really shouldn't enter each other's, but it's it's kind of silly. <laughs> Raffle metallic. I sold metallic genie. Yeah, he did. I have yeah. one left, and it's sitting right over there. Matthew, I'm fine. I'm so fine that I'm gonna drink another truly. Jesus. <laughs> That's really, I mean, if they're the little ones, it's really not that many. The ECCC dates are the 12th of March through the 15th. 15th. Yeah. Which Brittany and I will be there the 10th through the 16th. And I will be there whenever I get plane tickets. <laughs> which he has yet to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, if I find tickets that are cheaper on the tenth, I'm going to come and just like come in your uh your your bedroom and get in there. Well, we've only got a king bed, so if you if you're cool with sleeping on the floor or one of those cots that we go grab from front desk. I'm sleeping in between you guys. Nah, it won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> it will. <laughs> We're not even getting in on the tenth until like ten o'clock at night. I'm going to be so ready to go to friggin' sleep because it's going to be midnight on my normal time. <laughs> Matthew, thank you for uh, putting the GoFundMe up there for our stupid asses. I will get a ticket when I feel like it. I don't even remember where the hell we're staying at when we get to Seattle the first night. Chap, the couch is like Brian. It definitely does not pull out. <laughs> nope. You're assuming there is a couch. Most hotels like that just have like a chair and a small desk. Yeah. Which I have slept between the two chairs around the little round table that's off to the side. I have slept in those before, so wouldn't be the first time for me. I've slept in some stupid places before. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. What was the money Brittany sent us the other day? Uh, the t-shirt or the Teespring. That was Teespring money, or was that GoFundMe money? It was Teespring money. GoFundMe money should have been sent a couple weeks ago. What? I don't have. I don't think I have GoFundMe money. I got 47 the other day. That's what I got. 
Brittany just said from Teespring, yes. Oh. I said I have sent you GoFundMe and Teespring, she said. I'm I'm verifying. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I was like, that's the one person you don't screw with when it comes to like making sure finances are correct is Brittany because she's just she's got that shit on lockdown. I I don't know these things. I don't either. She just tells me, oh, by the way, I transferred money to so-and-so and so-and-so for this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, I did. I got 3854 from Brittany at one point. That would have been for the... That was like a month ago. Yeah, that would have been for the ECC. We haven't had any free donations since then. And then like four days ago, I got 47. That's pretty good from Teespring. Yeah, Teespring wasn't bad. I think there's more coming too, so... Nice. I haven't looked, but there's still a few orders to fulfill, I think. <laughs> Nova Scotia, I, I live 10 minutes from a United hub. I will get a flight. I, I, I may be at 4 in the morning, but I will get a flight. Sean has sent me voice messages where all I hear is a freaking plane flying over. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, no joke. Dulles in a straight line is probably like three miles from here. Mm-hmm. Chap. I think Broly's over. I hear weird music that sounds like it's from the the nineties. Is Broly on uh Funimation? Um no. Uh Justin give me a code for it. Ah, gotcha. You can use my login if you want to watch it. But it's after the tournament of power. Yeah, well I mean I need to actually watch all the Dragon Ball movies, but I don't have anywhere to watch them all. You sent me the My Hero movie. I watched that and just <laughs> the Broly one. I watched that. That's I'm surprised I they're not on Funimation. I am a little surprised about that, but uh, I don't know who actually dubs all the movies. I know all the anime stuff is done through Toei Animation, and then uh, yeah, the English dubs are done through Funimation, but I don't know who dubs the movies. I would assume it's the same people. It's not important to watch. That's, I mean, that's true. There's nothing really in Broly that's uh, keyed off the storyline, but it does occur after. I got you. Oh, Devin, I saw your message. No worries, man. <laughs> like, really? Brittany said you'll get another $12.26 from Teespring next week when it hits PayPal. Booyah! I will use that $12.26 towards my flight. So off of all those orders that you guys have made on Teespring for the booze and pop stuff, we've each made roughly 55 bucks. Closer to 60 but yeah. I mean, yeah. Yep, and we've spent. Tune in tomorrow night to see a really cool box opened on Booze and Pops. Yes, yes. Um, Ken and Lori are getting a box that they will open tomorrow night on Booze and Pops. Which, by the way, for those of you who do not know about Booze and Pops, we have our own Instagram page for finally. For finally, yeah, for finally, because that made fucking sense. How uh, much does Teespring keep? Most of it. Most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get a few dollars off a t-shirt, and you get like maybe eight or ten bucks off a hoodie. Booze and Pops is our all of our secondary channels. That's it right there. We take down every Saturday night's live stream because chances are we're all going to act like idiots at some point. Um, that channel is purely just for fun. It's that's all we do with it. We we don't go live. We don't do anything other than Saturday nights. We we do so, go live. <laughs> well, Saturday night. We don't go live any time other than Saturday night. Oh yeah, it's just Saturday night streams. So 
if you haven't been there, come check us out um, tomorrow night. It'll be 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, and 7 o'clock uh, Pacific. Because I don't think anybody lives in the mountain time zone. And yeah, no one cares about that. You are a perv, Ness. Yeah. What do you mean someone might think you are? There's no thinking. (laughs) (laughs) Booze and Pops is not a place for thinking. No. It's a place for drinking. Are there any games or anything? Games occasionally. You realize who's asking those questions? Yeah, I know. It's Steven. (laughs) We may get there depending on how much we have going on. If, If it's a good live stream, no games will most likely be played. (laughs) <laughs> yes, we're all saints. Sure. What's up, Toy Ninja? Um, bring back. I know Alexandra. I know you want the games back. Will anyone get way too drunk? Devin will definitely not get way too drunk. He Some learned people his- may or may not be hawking loogies in their in their office the end of the night. You may or may not see when someone go. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing, Devin? <laughs> Stop! Like the friggin' rabbit is covered in friggin' Devin spit. <laughs> it's true. When we go and play like Quiplash or any of the Jackbox games, the viewers the friggin- are like gone. The viewer count drops by half. Like people are just like, "Not nah, f this. I'm done." Seen enough of this Jackbox crap. I want to see stupid shit from drunks. Right. And the dumb shit that they talk about. Alexandra, (laughs) we'll start a third channel and play Jackbox games with you. How about that? (laughs) Will anyone do their best Stevie Wonder impression? (laughs) Fairly, I will. Sean, at some point, will be doing the... (laughs) If I I have too much whiskey, it's going to be like... (sighs) Then there comes a point where Sean goes... Fuck you. <laughs> All night long. And then sometimes I push the keyboard out of the way and just take a nap. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much happened at one point as well. But yeah, will someone be called? <laughs> yes. As long as Devin's there, yes. And rage quits, yes. Sean, Sean does like to rage quit every now and then. Devin says he will PayPal you when he gets home. He's driving. Uh, yeah, I saw that. No worries, Devin. Devin, don't call people cunts. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yes, there will be charity fights. <laughs> there will be threats <laughs> of charity fights. <laughs> the JJ just linked the uh, the Teespring, which is what Brian's wearing and what I will be wearing tomorrow night. Is that the fancy hoodie? No. Stand up. What's the difference with the the little hand pocket thingy? No idea. Well, I'm asking you to stand up. I mean, it's hand pockets. Oh, huh. I thought that was the difference on the fancy. It, and it's very soft inside. I don't remember it. It didn't happen. <laughs> it's fucking denial. That's all that is, Devin. That's denial. True. Lisa may do Devin impression. <laughs> she may show up for like long enough to do a Devin impression. If, if you guys want to see a, uh, a hashtag Larry impression, <laughs> Brittany and Lisa are usually available on Saturday nights for those as well. I don't know that you need to see it, though. No, you just need to hear it, which is yeah. the reason why it's good for, for Lisa, because she never likes to come on screen with us anymore. Andrews was pretty good also. Brittany has put on those leggings and she will probably not do it again. (laughs) Will she at least bring them to ECCC? I have no idea. I'll let her answer that question um, in chat right now. Brittany, you gonna bring them? (laughs) Have a good night, Verdugo Pop. Bernie, you should put them under like whatever pants you plan on wearing. Yes, we're still going. 
Like, oh, it's Devin's only been an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought he was talking about to Emerald City Comic Con. Yeah, bring them all. Wear them. No, you're gonna wear them under your sweatpants, and randomly, Brian or me or somebody else will just come by and pants you <laughs> <laughs> and reveal the child. <laughs> Of course, I like when Britney wore them because I could smack the child. <laughs> yeah, two hundred dollar Patreon tier. Britney, <laughs> I would put something ridiculous on Patreon if I actually thought somebody would do it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Chap says soul. <laughs> Xavier, you're late. We're getting ready to uh, end this. Uh, Britney, you. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever color you want. I mean, technically, if you don't want anybody to see anything, none. <laughs> what did Tickles say? When she said <laughs> when someone gets called a C-word. Oh, Devin's reading chat back. Yeah, Devin's like, no one gets called that anymore. <laughs> Cheap and Nerdy is in charge of the Teespring. Facts, yes. <laughs> Cheap and Nerdy is also in charge of the GoFundMe. Yeah, we let Br Brittany basically did all of that. Yeah, we're, we're just like, Brittany, go, girl. You got it. <laughs> right, have fun. Yeah, chap. Uh, $500 Patreon tier, there is also videos that would be made available. Crack is bad. <laughs> Drugs are bad. How much is on the GoFundMe? I think 170 bucks is what I think I heard somebody say. So, you know. It's fine. I'm the hooker, they be the pimps. <laughs> it, yeah, JJ, we need to uh we need to redo the regular one. Um some dickwad may have reported the regular hoodie. That's the only thing they reported. Like, what fucking sense does that make? But whatever. I don't know what they reported it for either, so. Oh, good God, Divine. Nobody wants that. <laughs> You'll match it if you don't go. So yeah, everybody. Um, if you'd like to go to the uh, <laughs> to the uh, GoFundMe page and donate, Devin says if he doesn't go, he'll uh, match it. Yeah, Devin, we will just like jam that down people's throats if you're going to do that. <laughs> Xavier Vanya is gone. It was part of the raffle this evening. Yep, nothing you see behind Brian is available, unfortunately. Nope. It'll all get shipped out by Tuesday at the latest. Mm. Devin, what about the steak? Right? <laughs> and the fancy hoodie is way more comfortable. But it only goes up to a 2X. So, though, you know, those of us fat fucks can't wear the fancy hoodie. I'll squeeze into the fancy hoodie. Get him, Matthew. Slay him with GoFundMe links. <laughs> All right, weren't we getting off here like 20 minutes ago? Yeah, we were. We're done. So thank you, everybody. We can sit here and talk to you guys all night long, but um, it's true. We're done. I'm going to go eat something and watch some more uh, Dragon Ball Super. Xavier, no. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody for coming. Everybody who, uh, contributed this evening. Thank you. Everybody have a good evening. We will talk to you guys tomorrow night on booze and pops. So thanks. Come. Yeah. Show up. Yeah. Ken and Lori. Open Ken and Lori box. are getting an awesome box. You guys shouldn't, you guys should really be there to see what's going to happen. Show up. So, all right, guys have a good night.